so this is about sifting and weighing and measuring your ingredients. So this is measuring dry ingredients. So I'm going to show you what the effect of sifting does. So this is my flour. It's not sifted at all. As you see, it's really kind of packed together pretty tightly. So the first thing I'm going to show you um, is how to properly measure first. So if your recipe calls for a quarter cup of flour, so this is a dry measuring cup. Don't use a liquid measuring cup to measure your dry ingredients. This is for liquids. This is for dry. And it does make a tremendous difference when measuring. So, just as we're going to begin with the basic concept of measuring. So, we're going to need a quarter cup of flour. So, stick your cup into your flour. Scoop it up. Don't pack it. Just scoop it. And just take a knife or something. And just level it off. You have a perfect quarter cup of flour. This concept goes for measuring any amounts. If it's one cup of flour, three cups of flour, so on. So, one of the things that people don't understand is when they read the recipe, sometimes the recipe, you have to read it very closely. Sometimes the recipe might word three cups of flour sifted. Or it might say three cups sifted flour. So if it says three cups of flour sifted, then it means to measure your flour first, and then to sift afterwards. But if it says sifted flour, or in some range where it just means that, it means to sift and then measure. So we're going to move to how to weigh for dry ingredients. This is my preferred method, but we have to sift first. My recipe calls for 345 grams of sifted all-purpose flour. So we're going to sift the flour first. So I have a sifter here. I'm just going to pour more than enough flour here to sift it. Okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, weigh your flour. So read your instruction manual on your on your scale. Read your instruction. So I'm going to show you how to weigh your ingredients. Okay, so um, my recipe calls for <coughs> my recipe calls for 345 grams of sifted all-purpose flour. So, your scale, you need to change your mood. So, I'm, mine's, my button's on the bottom, so I'm going to change this from pounds to grams. Or ounces to grams, whatever you want to say. So, as you see here, the scale is now at zero grams. Make sure you're on weight. Make sure you're, if your scale has any liquid functions, just make sure it's on weight. We're going to zoom in a little bit. So, my scale is a little bit more modernized, but all digital scales pretty much work the same. So, it's obvious that we're going to have to weigh our flour in something. So, we have to have 345 grams of sifted all-purpose flour. So, I'm going to put this on there, the bowl. But I don't know if you're able to see that. Let's see. Now, I just put the scale on top. And, um, I mean, I just put the bowl on top of the scale. So, as you see here, the weight of the bowl appears. So, you... How are you going to measure your flour properly? Well, your scale has a function called tear or zero. So what tear does is it tears away anything that's on top of the scale to make it appear to be zero. So when you need to weigh your items inside of a bowl, you would hit tear. So my scale is zero. If yours is zero or tear, just hit it. So place your bowl on top of the scale. We're going to hit tear. So what that does is it sets the scale to zero. 
as if there's nothing on top of the scale. So my flour here is already sifted. So I need 345 grams. You would just simply weigh it. And you just add your flour until it gets to 345 grams. So we're at 345. You just, you know, if you go over a little bit, just take a little spoon or something to scoop out to get it. So that is how you sift, measure, and weigh for dry ingredients. So there's one more thing I'm going to show you about dry ingredients when it comes to measuring. How do you measure small things like baking powder or baking soda? Hmm, same way. So my recipe today calls for a tablespoon of baking powder. So this is my baking powder here. Let me take you guys back out so I represent here. This is my baking powder. You have this little lip here on the inside of the can. That little lip right there. So put your measuring spoon in, scoop it on there, and then just run it against this little lip on the inside of your can. And you have a perfectly oh, there we go. You have a perfectly measured one tablespoon of baking powder. And the same thing goes for, you know, if you're measuring your salt, so you have salt inside of a jar, scoop it out and measure it that way, it's easier. Just always level the top off. Because bacon is a science, everything has to be precise. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you guys find it helpful. Um, oh, also, you can see the difference too with the flour that is sifted, I forgot to mention that. It's a little, it's fluffed up, it's not as compact. So, I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful. Soon I have a, uh, just sort of a guide. I'll just briefly talk about flowers, the types of flowers and percentages. You can find that information on my blog. Um, you'll find it in the description box. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Please give me a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. This is The Sugary Sweet, where we're making the world a little bit sweeter.